Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be playing some more Dreadnought and I wanted to take a look back at the Otron. Otronto. So, you've seen in my videos recently, I've already gotten the Vigo and the Jutland. So I'm done with the research in the Otronto. And since I'm done with the research in the Otronto, I kind of wanted to go over what exactly I'm running with it in my final build. You can see it decked out as an Orion. Most folks, when they see that, don't really know what to think, but I think it looks amazing. I love it. Uh, I've also got the Mactira uh, pattern on there, just what I like. And I wanted to do a quick rundown of all the modules that I've got on there. So I've got upgraded basic modules. I'm running a Goliath Torpedo, a Drain Torpedo, a Weapon Booster Pulse, Jump Drive, Retaliator, Weapons 101, Navigation, and Get My Good Side. So nothing too terribly special. It's not too terribly different from what we were looking at, you know, last time that I was flying this ship. I did want to point out that I'm sticking with the flak turrets. I'm sticking with the flak turrets because it's really hard to beat that level of damage that close. And with the build that I've got, I'm going to be spending a lot of time in people's faces. So I'm going to be... I'm going to be jumping into their faces with that jump drive. Now, it's not a target jump, so you've got to be very careful about what and how you shoot. I love it. It works great on this ship. It actually flies a whole lot like the Orion, plain old Orion tier two ship. Uh, it also is a similar strategy to what I was running with my uh, Vigo. And I love the Vigo. It's got a lot of punch. But the idea with this ship is you jump in somebody's face, you drop a ton of damage, and do your best to get out of there right quick and in a hurry. Let's go ahead and hop on out and go blow some stuff up. Go ahead and jump on in there and give them something to think about. I figure as soon as I get in there, I'm going to drop everything that I've got. I want to be able to take out Dreadnoughts as well. That's why I'm running that Drain Torpedo. Because without that, I don't stand too much of a chance against a Dreadnought. You know, not even... Not wanting to discount the amount of damage that I do. But I do, you know, a little bit better when they can't fight back. Drop that weapon booster pulse, help out the allies. There we go. See, that Dola went down super easy. Super, super easy. Now let's get out of here. Got my shields up. Oh, was not enough to make it. But I was able to dumb fire both of those missiles. And there we go. Did some damage. Not... That's maybe not the best, but it's a play style that I personally enjoy. I like being able to jump into their faces. There we go, Captain Kill. I did actually get somebody with that. This is not a siege weapon. It's not going to sit there and take all that damage and push it back like the Jutland would. It's going to sit there and, well, it's not going to sit there. It's going to jump in and do a lot of damage and then attempt to get out. I kind of think of it kind of like a Corvette, which is definitely not the role it was intended to do, but it does it fairly well, and I'm really happy with it. And the missiles drop from the left. I want to get close enough to drop those uh, black cannons on there. Dang it, dead again. Yeah, so... Not a surprise to anybody, it doesn't have a whole ton of health, and I am asking a lot of this ship when I do that. Looking back on it, the ship has been 
really fun to play. And I'm really glad that I went down this line. It's definitely my kind of ship. And the cosmetics for it aren't half bad either. So this time coming through, I'm going to go in with a little bit more purpose. And I'm going to go after their command ship. And always, snag those free points when available. There we go. Got it. And it looks like a Palos up there. Go ahead and get back there and wail on them a bit. Oh, got too close on that one. Oh no, I'm getting wrecked. Let's do something about that. Got him drained right before it goes off. Did a ton of damage to that Dreadnought. He's now hurting pretty good. He doesn't have a healer behind him. I could absolutely see a Corvette coming through and taking him out. There he goes. He's dead. Good stuff. Real good stuff. They're doing a real good job at protecting their ship, their captain ship, command ship. Dang it, I can't talk today. Which is a lot of why I'm having difficulties with the Otranto today. Overall, good stuff though. Looks like we're not the only ones out here in an Otranto. Just happen to be the only one with the uh, nice cosmetics. Go pick on that Dola again. Those are always fun to pick on. I got picked on so much as a Dola, it wasn't even funny. It's nice that I can actually do something against them. And it's now time for us to protect our own command ship. So I haven't been getting close enough for those flat guns to be doing a whole ton of work, but as soon as I get under 1k, I should be able to do something with that. Oh, not watching my energy usage and didn't drop those shields like I was supposed to. I'm not going to lie, the grind for this ship, getting through to the Vigo and to the Jutland, could have been more fun. Uh, I don't know if there was a change in matchmaking or what, but it seems as though I've... There we go, a nice little bundle of chips with low amounts of health. Right where I shine. Hello. Goodbye. That should make sure I get all of them. Boom. Got an assault ship. Got most of two others. So I will I'll be cleaning up on those assists but I'm not getting those kills myself. That's just kind of in the nature of this ship. And then taking out all those support ships, or at the very least assisting on all of those support ships, I helped my team out a lot. And I don't know if you noticed it, but the points did jump a lot when I did that. Yeah, I just wasted everything on a Koshi. But hey, you gotta you gotta hit them hard and you gotta hit them hard fast or you don't take them out. Oh, time to get out of here.
Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Boom. I don't know where I went. That's the scary bit. Go ahead and boost the weapons of our buddies over here. And hopefully I will have enough shields and health by the time those missiles get here. I'll be able to survive. There we go. And we won. So that was not at all my best match ever in the Otronto. But it was fairly typical. You know, you struggle for a little bit till you find the pockets where you can do your most good. And I don't want to spend a whole time, a whole bunch of time here in the results sheet or, or grade on this match. Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, hop right on in to another match. And here we go. Next match. We'll see how the ship does in a slightly different context. It's not my go-to ship for every single match ever, uh, but it's got its place. And when you're grinding through it, it is a good bit of fun. And like I said before, this is my preferred set of modules. It's just what I like to run in the ship. I usually bring it out when I need a really big missile. And that's basically what I use it as, just a really big missile. Dang it. Callouts aren't working. There we go. Let's see if I can kind of sneak up on them. They know that I'm here. But that's not going to help them. They got a pair of tactical cruisers over there that I really want to take out. Because a good set of attacks can turn the tide of any battle. Rain Torpedo, Goliath, should have done the Weapon Booster Pulse first, not a huge deal. Pop those shields, see what I can do, and see if I can get out of here. And I'm out. Got a couple of kills there. Did a lot of trouble. Gave him a lot of trouble. Good stuff. Real good stuff. Now Palos wants a piece of me. For that Harwich. No, no, that's definitely Palos. Oh, hey. Let's give him something else to think about. I got some teammates over here helping me out a little bit. Boom, got him. Well, it was an assist, but you get the idea. Come on, come get me. You know you want to. There we go. See, that's really hard to beat. I don't care if you've got multiple options. Those flak turrets just are the best. Love them. Love them to death. And because I've got really good teammates, I'm back and healed right up. As soon as they've got... As soon as they're within five kilometers, I'm going to see if I can go ahead and get in their face. If I remember right, it's four kilometers and change that this can jump. Go ahead and, whoa, getting wailed on real hard right there. Okay, got all my missiles off. Do they blow? Yes, they blow. <laughs> I was really hoping to catch that tack in the blast but now they've got something to think about so the next person that comes through has got some nice soft targets if you think about it that way the ship does a very good job at making some very soft targets especially if that uh that drain torpedo hits first Let's get out of the way of those missiles. As soon as we're out of the way of those missiles, let's drop us a drain torpedo and a goliath torpedo and see where things take us. 
And I'm down. So that Dreadnought definitely has something to think about with a Dream Missile in his face and a Goliath. There we go. You can't see it, but I did get a Captain Kill out of that. There we go. Uh, seven kills, two deaths, three assists, 950 score. The score is nothing to write home about, but the rest of it, I'm pretty happy with that. Especially for a tier three ship. Granted, most everything I'm going up against is also a tier three, but you get the idea. It's something I'm happy with. Oh no, we got a destroyer buddy in trouble. Boom, eat him alive. There we go. That, I got a kill out of that. Should have been an assist. I definitely stole that kill, not intentionally. Take a look at the radar. Yeah. Yep, there they are. Let's uh, get in their faces a little bit. So, drop that, drop that, drop that. So, weapon booster pulse, drain torpedo, goliath torpedo. And I really wish I could trigger those after death because I could have taken out more than I just did. Final blow. I'm getting, I'm at the very least, kill trading. Which, granted, is not the best way to go for advancing things for your team. But, hey, I'm having a lot of fun and that's really what's important. My team is doing good. I've been going in, softening up targets for them. And they've been coming around and cleaning up behind me as evidenced by those messages that come up right after I die. This is maybe not the most sustainable way of playing but like I said it's something fun and when you're grinding through a low level ship to get to a bigger better ship that's kind of what you have to do yeah whale on him whale on him there we go so I'd like to get in these guys faces and drop a goliath torpedo Oh, and I didn't get to have it go off. Anyway, guys, uh, I wanted to once again say, hey, this is a great ship. If you haven't tried it, go out and try it. I love it. There we go. I got two stars. I was second place. That's pretty neat. Uh, anyway, go try the Otranto if you haven't tried it. The module setup that I've got works for my play style. It's something that I enjoy. Hey. What's it really going to cost you? It's just a tier three ship. And you've seen from my first looks on the other ships, it's kind of more of the same, but it gets beefier and better as it goes on because it's not trying to fill multiple roles. Anyway, uh, not to talk your ear off, but I wanted to thank you guys for joining me this time. Uh, like it if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of this kind of thing, and I will see you guys in the next one.